Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. I have a haul here, a little shopping haul. Um, some of this stuff was either purchased online or, you know, out and about. But um, I just wanted to show y'all, you know, it's been purchased over, mm, I guess, a summer week and a half ago or maybe a little bit longer due to what had to come in, you know, for shipping. So, but, um, I wanted to show y'all the stuff. First of all, I want to show y'all some stuff. Me and my husband went to, we always go to antique stores looking for things. And we found um, this Elvis. It says Elvis Yearbook 1960. Um, we found this in one of the antique stores because y'all know we have the Elvis room. We collect Elvis. And uh, this was a good find. This looks something we didn't, we don't have yet. Well, we do now, but we haven't opened it. See, it has some roughage on the edge. But all in all, it's in great condition. Also had this little Elvis mirror. Now this I ordered from Amazon really cute i have an elvis purse i'd like to do an elvis fiend um what's in my bag also i ordered these off amazon these are to put um under your strap so if you have a purse where the strap slides there's some clear ones and there's some black ones these are small and these are larger i have not tried these yet i do not know how well they work but um it says the strap gummy strip will, will adhere to virtually any flat strap including leather so it does say it let's see use it on your leather synthetic suede fabric nylon vinyl etc so i'm going to try it on a really cheap bag first just to make sure because I have a couple bags I absolutely love and do not want to get rid of but the straps do not stay on my shoulder and so I'm trying to fix that issue but I'm gonna try these and see how they work out got them off Amazon now this is a dish that I found at the antique store I fell in love with I'm using it on my dresser right now but I took my stuff out so I could show y'all but it has the little, um, I like it that it has these little organizer, like a little sectioned off in there. But I thought it was very cute. Well, very pretty. I love stuff like this. Okay. Next, I have this Lisa Frank notebook. That I got. This was Walmart online. It has a pocket here. And I purchased this paper uh, separately. It's colored paper. And then another little uh, pocket notebook that was purchased and added in. Reminds me of when I was younger. I had stuff like this back in school and I still love it. I think it's so pretty. And I got the Trapper Keeper. Yes, I absolutely love this. I had some stickers on. But um, this was from Walmart Online. I couldn't find one in the store. They were sold out. But this is pretty cool. I love this. That's the back. That's the side. Let's open it up. Here you have a pouch over here with a little holder there. And I bought these Lisa Frank stickers. You get a lot of cute ones in here. I'm already using those ones I showed you. Really, really, really cute, y'all. I love this. Remember the Trapper Keepers back in the day? <laughs> back in the 80s, especially. 
And I bought this uh, colored paper to go in this one too. But I write a lot. I keep a lot of stuff like journals or whatever. But I'm probably going to use this maybe for my YouTube and stuff. And like organize different things. These are all the folders. These folders uh, came with it. And this one was purchased separately. Of course, the paper was too. But you get these folders, and I purchased this separately. This comes, you got this in the Trapper Keeper. You got the cute little um, spiral note book. And it cute? So I just stuck it there underneath that. But this is so adorbs. Absolutely love it and keep pretty much up, you know, anything you would want, you know, in here. It's nice to keep if you have a lot of stuff. I mean, if you have like purse collection, collection, jewelry or whatever you might collect, you know, keep an inventory of it. Or if you're doing videos, you know, ideas for videos and what videos you've done or want to do, you know, it's nice to be able to write all that down and have it right there so I'm not one that keeps everything in my phone I like to do it old school I write everything down okay now we are on to the purses oops 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 gosh I put that dish behind me I forgot it was there let me move this stuff okay sorry about that all right, now we have some purses. First of all, I have this Patricia Nash. I got this from QEC. Just got it in. This is 10th anniversary. It has silver hardware. I absolutely fell in love with this bag when I saw it. And this is the Peridot color. Yeah, the color is called Peridot. Um, it's like a yellow, but with like a hint of green. Uh, you have pockets here. Here, look at all the grommets. Isn't that pretty? This leather is soft. You have more back here, pockets. And they have that suede-like material in them. You have this strap, which, oh, I wish they would have made this like a, just about two inches longer. It fits over my shoulder, but this is up in my armpit. So that is a just, I don't know. I can use it like that, but I'll mainly be carrying it like this, you know. But it also came with a crossbody strap, which I'm going to check out here soon and see if that turns in, possibly can turn into a shoulder strap. Okay, um... You have a slip pocket here and here, which they are uh, elastic pockets and a wall zip pocket there. I'll go th more through this bag whenever um, <clears throat> I do a what's in my bag with it. Now this is my Patricia Nash wallet that I stuck with it because I might use this with this bag. Um, I didn't buy anything. I didn't see one that matched, but I've got a couple things in here that I'm going to use with this bag. And... It came with the dust cover. That's the bottom. It has feet. The bottom is smooth. But isn't that absolutely so cute? Okay. Let me put... That back in there. like a few Patricia Nash bags y'all <laughs> y'all know I love Patricia Nash and then this one I also got from QEC this is in the color Patriot and it comes with the silver hardware this was the only one had the silver hardware was this color this is the little box bag and Patriot blue let's see and it's a little twist lock so adorable oh my goodness but then it opens like this you have a back wall zip pocket and you have a dust bag and you also have a crossbody strap or 
shoulder strap, which uh, I like it when they work both ways. When it, you know it, it'll adjust short enough for shoulder strap, but long enough for crossbody. Isn't that just cutesy? This bag was adorable. I love the shape, the box shape. But I'll be doing, of course, what's in my bag and this when I use it. Okay, one more Patricia Nash bag. Now this one, okay, the box bag came from Dillard's also. I'm not Dillard's, but uh, QVC. Now this one was ordered online from Dillard's. And what had happened, I'd went into Dillard's and tried this bag on and absolutely fell in love with it. It's not huge, but the shoulder strap drop was absolutely perfect for me. And, but the one in Dillard's looked beat up. It was the display and it, it was missing this medallion on there. So I just came home and ordered it online. Do you have a back pocket there? And this is the name, Michaela and Tan. But it has the, tw the little twist lock thing. And it's like that suede filled there also. It's hard to get this open because the tags are still on it. Um, let me get out some things here. A lot of times I'll put stuff in my bags that I know I'm going to use in that certain bag. But if you can see inside there, like I said, I can do this better whenever. Let's pull those over. See, these kind of like hang down. And you have these tooled flowers on here, which is so retro. I mean, this is so, I don't know, it looks so 70s to me. I just love this little bag. And when you open it up, it, it's, even though it's little, it opens wide. And it has these two elastic pockets. This one's bigger. This one's a little smaller. You have a wall zip pocket. And that's the inside. It's like a suede-like feel. Has some little paper in there. But the bag, if you can tell, has like an oval-shaped opening. And when these flap down and you undo the bag, it just like falls open. So it's pretty large to be little though. It's gonna, you know, probably hold a lot. I love this. And it also comes with the dust bag, which I think all her bags do. Okay, now I have this Juicy Couture bag. I'm trying to remember where I got this one from. I am not sure. It might have been Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Probably one of those. Has a nice, huge uh, back compartment there where you can put your phone or keys in. And this is the tag. This is Taffy. It's a Man's World Dome Satchel. Let's see, I get this open. Take some stuff out so we don't have to look at paper and all that. Okay. Sorry about that. This comes with a strap. So, but I bet no, it clips on each end. So that's good. I hate the ones that go. Y'all know I can't stand the ones that go from here to here because it does this when it hangs. It drives me crazy. Why make them like that? I don't get it. I have so many bags that when I just put the straps on, they will hang like warped, even with them closed. And then if you keep wearing them like that, they just stay that way. So, but if they're from one side and the other and they're balanced, it keeps the bag straight. But here is the lining. Very nice. I like this bag. This is super, super, super cute. I love the little Juicy Couture charm on the front. But I'm most likely to carry it this way anyway. Let's see, are there any feet? Nope. No little feet. Okay. And we have two Think Whirling bags. 
I have this one. This is the Double Zip with Diva, I think. And it has a large pocket here, and it has a zip around. Um, I don't know if I can get these open right now. But I'll probably just be able to show y'all whenever I get, um, well, I'll just go and open this one right here. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. Open this, and it has the gussets on the side, and the pocket opens, I mean, the compartment opens really, really wide. Let's see. There we go. See, it opens really wide. You have a slip pocket here. I haven't even got it unzipped all the way down the sides. But in this, this uh, compartment does the same thing as this compartment. And it has like gun metal. Um, it's hardware. I'm trying to think what the color of this was. Ugh. I'll have to look before I do the video. I'll do it what's in my bag. But this also, this came with this strap and it comes with the little strap. And one more bag. Another Think Whirlin. This is in the white patent. Isn't it beautiful? Um, I got this bag, I think, off Amazon, I believe. Because they at the time they were sold out on Think Whirlin on these bags, but now I think they have them back. But this you have a magnetic pocket here. Super cute. You have a zip pocket here. And you have your straps. And let me get this out of here. This is a lot. I'm going to show y'all in just a second. Now this was where it came from or something. I ordered off Amazon, but this was in the package. And here is the strap. And you have a big, like, recessed uh, zipper here. And in the back, you have a, um, a large phone pocket. But what's going to drop me nuts, which I can tell from right now, they put this patent material all the way down this pocket, which you can even see my nails, like, hanging on it. Which, God, I hope I don't come off on there. <laughs> but anyway, my nails are even getting, like, stuck on this material. It's, you know, gripping it. So, if my case, if I use probably, like, any kind of rubber case or anything like that, it is not going to want to go down in there. I'm going to have to use some, I don't know what type of case I can put on my phone. Or if I just have my phone without a case in there. I don't know, but they really should have put the silk type lining on this side of the pocket on the inside of this side too so it wouldn't do that going in if y'all know what i'm saying i hope y'all understand what i'm saying and another thing which is kind of weird let's see there is a uh pocket here i guess that's water bottle but you see where the label is usually your zip pocket on the inside and your label is the back of your bag but this is the front. Hmm. Very weird. See what I'm saying? That's the front. But the zip pocket, wall pocket, and the labels on this on this side. When you would think it would be right there. With that being the front of the back. Well, that's kind of weird. Oh well. Okay, y'all, I love this bag, so I really do, despite a few flaws here I've noticed. But it is really, really cute. And they've got the strap on the, where it connects on each side, goody. So it's balanced, that makes me happy. Okay, y'all, that's the bottom. Let me show y'all this wallet really quick. I got this wallet off eBay. And I had bought this wallet to go with that purse. Actually. <laughs> but when I got the wallet in, you can see the white is so different. It's The whites are totally two different shades. So that wasn't going to work. But I'm keeping the wallet still because I'm going to still use it. I don't care. And 
it's the uh, framed wallet, which I absolutely love. You have a pocket here, zip there. You have uh, card slots there. And you have another slip here. This is the name of the wallet. I forgot how much I paid, though. I think it was like 15 or so. I don't remember. Maybe 20 I don't know. I got it off eBay. And it's nice and padded. It's really cute. It's got a tight lock on it, which I like. Because you got to watch these type wallets. You put stuff in them and they pop open. But that one seems to close very nicely. But anyway, y'all, we'll be doing what's in my bags in these videos. I mean, in the next few videos, I'll be having some of these bags coming up. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this shopping haul. It's kind of random. <laughs> but, um, I just wanted to show y'all some stuff that's been coming in. And if y'all have any questions, please put them down below. And I hope everyone is doing great. Thank you all so much for your kind comments. I appreciate you all so, so, so much. And please, please, please take care. Everybody take care. Take care of one another. Be kind. Be kind to others and be kind to yourself. Hope to see y'all in the next. Bye-bye.